Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, schizophrenic. So let's talk about self-harm, self-injury, and ways to kind of deal with it. So yes, I do struggle with self-harm. Um, I have pretty much my entire life ever since I was a little kid. Um, and like, I know when I was a kid, I used to like bang my head into the, the doorpost of my closet. Why? I don't know. I just know I always have and it got worse in high school and it's something that like I constantly deal with um, and it's not even like it, it has to be like I've had a bad day or, or something um, I could just be doing something normal and very graphic thoughts pop into my head of hurting myself so why do people self-harm usually it's a coping mechanism to deal with certain stressors and those stressors really could be anything um, with schizophrenia, a lot of people um, are pushed to self-harm due to their hallucinations. Um, voices telling them to do that, different things like that, okay? First off, if you, if you self-harm, you're not bad, okay? They get that, like, you're not bad. Now, I don't want you to self-harm, we're gonna know that. Um, but you're not a bad person. Especially when it comes to mental disorders, all that means is that your brain is out of order, okay? Um, I've talked about it with suicide, but I feel like in some of us, there's like this big red button in our brain, okay? And it's a self-destruct button. And for whatever reason, okay, whatever reason, ours has gotten hit, okay? And there's nothing we can do to like unhit it. It's been hit now. And we just have that intense desire to harm ourselves. If you're going those and if you're like me, like the thoughts just pop into your head. It's not like I, I, I see something. My mom is always joking. You know, I like to watch horror movies and stuff. And she's like, Rachel, you can't watch this because it's going to put thoughts into your head. And that's what makes your hallucinations bad. And I'm like, no, not sweetie. I'm like, my hallucinations are way worse than any horror movie I've ever seen. Like this is, this is silly. So first thing you need to do is stop the thought. Don't just let it keep going, okay? A lot of us, it kind of becomes like this record player playing, okay? And the urge is gonna become stronger and stronger the longer you let it play, all right? So you need to stop it right there, okay? Acknowledge it, all right? If you have intrusive thoughts like I'm talking about right now, like you, you can't like control them, but you need to acknowledge them because ignoring them isn't gonna make them go away. So acknowledge the thought, okay, right now I am having an intense, urge or desire to do this to myself, okay? Now I'm not gonna do it, but I am having this urge. So acknowledge it, okay? Then you need to distract yourself from it, okay? Do something else. Here's my number one thing I always tell people to do and that I do, okay? Work out, go for a run. That's the easiest thing. I don't care if it's raining outside. I don't care where you live. I don't care the temperature. I don't care if it's hot. I don't care if it's cold. Go running and run as far and fast as you can until your lungs are burning, until your knees give out, until your brain goes blank and you can't think straight. And many times that will help calm that urge. Okay. I can't promise you every time, but with me, that's what always helps, okay? It kind of breaks that cycle. Here's the thing, when, wherever you're at, you need to get out of that situation, okay? So if yes, I am at home and I'm laying in bed and, I'm, and these thoughts are just coming and coming and coming, I need to get out of bed, I need to change rooms, I need to go be around people, okay? If you're like, Rachel, I don't have any people, okay? Go to a coffee shop, okay? Just go get out of wherever you are, all right? So if it's at work, all right, see if you can go, you know, go take a bathroom break. Even if that helps, that gets you out of that situation wherever this thought is manifesting. So the best way to kind of cope and deal and fight even your self-harm thoughts is to be proactive, okay? So with me, I have a lot of the same ones. One of them involves a tool, okay? And I will not use this tool, okay? Because it is an intense urge if I touch this tool to do something very, very bad to myself, all right? So I don't touch that tool. I, that is a rule with me, all right? That, that's a rule, I'm not, I'm not gonna touch it. Um, if it's a situation, let's say knives, you're really bad about cutting, lock up the knives, get rid of them. You're like, Rachel, well, I can't do that. Yeah, no, you can't, find a way, all right? Whatever your struggle is, okay? Whatever that trigger is, find a way to avoid it. Get it out of the house. I don't know why, I get close to an edge and I just wanna jump. Not like a thrill-seeking, like, no, I, I just want to jump, okay? 
and it's it's a horrible feeling and it's not like we don't want to jump it's like I want, I'm trying to hurt myself and it's an intense urge and that is one reason I avoid heights I don't get near ledges and stuff like that because I don't trust myself <laughs> I don't you think well Rachel that's silly it's what I have to do and it's not silly because taking steps to get help taking steps to take care of yourself isn't silly it isn't stupid it's brave most important thing no one has the right to hurt you not even you you deserve to have an amazing kick-ass life all right you do you deserve that all right you're not a bad person for having um urges to hurt yourself i'm rachel star schizophrenic thank you so much for watching um the people out there having issues with self-harm um definitely check out some of my other videos and whatnot I'm Rachel Starr. I'm out. Um, like, subscribe, all that jazz for more mental health and stupid stunts. A good balance? No? Yeah. Um, I don't know.